It's a Dortron 3000, but it's missing its tube. It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt, the only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. There's a schematic of his secret PF001 tube on the front, just like the one needed at the factory. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Do you have a PF001 tube in stock? Oh, the PF001 is a top secret tube that only Chuck knew about. But I have never seen one in person. I don't have any in stock, but I think there was only one or two produced. But if I had the design for one, I could probably make it for you. Is the tube schematic on this t-shirt for a PF001? Yes, it is. I might be able to build one using that schematic. Okay, here's my t-shirt. Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. Yes, I can make this tube. Won't be a jiffy. <laughs> Here's the PF001 tube, exactly how Chuck designed it. Thank you. It's a rare PF001 tube. It's almost the same size as the TX1138 tube, so my two pullers should work with it. fits perfectly. The doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be, they're now unlocked. I can't reach that. Thank you. It's a sheet of aluminum foil. Thanks a lot. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disk on the label. Thanks a lot. I think they're unlocked.
opened a little more. I think someone could squeeze through now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Holy Oh, you said it, clown. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? <laughs> 